This historic stadium, home to the Iron Horse and the Great Dane, to Wilson and Alvarez, Camp Randall Stadium in Madtown, home to the Wisconsin Badgers. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Minnesota Golden Gophers, taking on a fellow Big Ten foe, the Wisconsin Badgers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Golden Gophers will put total leather and will get started. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Wisconsin Badgers offense takes the field to start this game off. When Minnesota and Wisconsin get together, not much more satisfying than reaching around, grabbing that axe handle, and taking a swing at the goalpost. That's the stakes today, guys. Yeah, and a lot of stakes, a lot of emotion. These guys don't like each other. Listen, the Gophers and the Badgers are built the same, Paul. They're the same identity. It's toughness. It's running the football. Who can establish that in this football game? And to me, it doesn't matter if you're a fan of either of these two schools. If you just love college football, it makes it great. It's the rivalry game. Games, right? This is the most played rivalry in the FBS. Paul Bunyan Zacks, this game is always so much fun to watch. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no game land. The games etched in the lore of this rivalry are typically tight last second field goals and the like, but Wisconsin won in a blowout a year ago. Yeah, the Badgers grabbed that axe and bludgeoned the Gophers a year ago. Just beat them down. They know that. They've heard about it, and they've talked about it all year long. That's not something you forget. Palmer, you know that taste in your mouth, and you will do anything to get it out. They want to do it again, too. We talked to some of these Wisconsin players. They said running out onto the field, grabbing the axe, and holding it up high was one of the best moments of their careers. And the fact that they won the game is in a convincing fashion and as dominant as they did, they want to do that again here today. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the returner will be brought down. So Minnesota's offense has the ball for the first time. This matchup on the outside, Jesse, a big play weapon for the offense, a shutdown corner for the D. They say big time players make big plays in big games. So who gets the best of this matchup? That's going to determine the game. I mean, such a fun chess match. How much are they on each other during the game? The head to head matchup that everybody wants to see. Well, they're trying to go option, but the linebacker shows his open field tackling ability and also his recognition. He expected the quarterback to keep it, went after him, was able to make the tackle for loss. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Grabbed over the middle. It's Jackson. Stumbled to the ground. And after giving up that completion, guys, I wonder if the defense is going to decide to stay in zone or maybe mix things up a little more man coverage, maybe blitz. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Quickly out to the tight end. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football. But this team, fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. Off the play fake on first down. Wide open downfield. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. Well, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. And the Golden Gophers have this offense rolling. They'll leave it with him. Stop is made at the 22. A 10-yard pickup and a first down just outside the red zone. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. The Golden Gophers will snap it on first and 10.
They'll ride the hot hand. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got a right where I want. Okay, I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We'll play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. They think there's room to run to the right here. They make the stop after a pickup of three just inside the red zone at the 19. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job game tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. This crowd knows they have to bring it in big moments, and one of those has arrived. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And he'll kick for the three from 36 yards out in the right hatch. No good. Kicker couldn't quite get it through, and the scoreboard remains the same. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. The give out of the gun. And the Badgers will move the sticks. Really good looking run right there. He reminds me of one of the greatest Wisconsin players of all time. Heisman Trophy winner Ron Dane, who's a teammate of mine with the New York Giants. And he was so good at being patient and setting up blocks. This guy shows that patience as well. He really helps out the running game because he's not in a rush. He just takes his time and carves his way through the defense. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. He leaves it with his back. Wrestled down at the 43 after getting five. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Offense lines up for a first and 10 from the 43. On the run, it's Malusi. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and four. Here's a quick throw out to the left. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. Nice read and nice throw. And I know Wisconsin quarterbacks always get the unfair moniker that they're game managers, and it's because they've always been a great rushing offense. Just got to complete a couple throws to keep the offense on schedule. But when you think about the offenses where they've had a difference maker, a guy like Russell Wilson that were able to throw on first down, take shots, just make them so much more explosive, I think this guy has some of those traits too. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I needed to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit it in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it because he really didn't have a choice because he was going to wear that one regardless. Offense walks through the line for play number seven of the drive. The running back has it. Makes the tackle at the 27. It's a pickup of five and enough for the first down. 
You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. The Badgers will line it up on first and 10. Power football with the run. He's all the way down to the three. Showed it all on that run. Man, this is a guy who just seems to get better as the game goes on. What a run getting his offense down close to the goal. So nice creating explosive runs in the run game. Now you're getting in the red inside the five. Go punch this in and get a touchdown. And the Badgers have it in scoring position on first and goal. Tell you what, when you get inside the three, I think your tendency is to run the football, run the football, run the football. The offense, try to change it up a little bit, maybe try to throw it. I, I don't like it, and obviously it didn't work, but at least you got a few more downs here to try to make up for it. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? To the air. It's Vaughn. He's got it. And to the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. They just took the air out of that thing. That might be an understatement. They took the ball away and just wore down, just grinded away at that defense. It took a lot of time off the clock in the process as well. I'm impressed with the physicality up front of this offense because that's where it all starts. If you're going to march the ball down the field like they just did, you've got to be dominating in the trenches, and they are doing that in this game right now. Getting set for the point after. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they finish it up with a 3-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. Pulled and finds his man on the left. At the 40, there he goes. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. Cranking up a drive like that can really get you going. It's first down from the 44. From the gun, the Gale looking for room. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. They cross midfield at the 45 with a first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. Fires to the big fella. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game, now on second down. Wants to throw, it's Brosmer. Finds his tight end. 
And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route running. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. you got to get him involved. And the Golden Gophers with the first and ten. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed in the middle. It's Spencer. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Moves around to clear up the vision. And he tries to get away, but he cannot. He's taken down. He'll lose a couple. Well, the offense has made it known on this drive. They're trying to throw the football, and they're going to let this quarterback go to work. The defense does a great job winning up front. They get the sack to try to slow this momentum down. Now, they missed a field goal on the last drive, but you need to get points here, so they need to pick up some yardage to at least get in range for their kicker. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. That's a good example there of complementary defense. The DBs and linebackers are playing zone. They're playing their spaces, and they force the QB to, to have to hold the ball, try to work through his progressions, and then the pass rush. They win up front. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. This field goal attempt is going to be an even 50-yarder. What a disappointment. No good. And they couldn't cut into the lead. It's still a seven-point game. Well, that's now the second missed field goal for this kicker. And I'll tell you this, you can't blame the weather for all this. This is a beautiful day. He needs to do better executing these field goals. Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. It'll be a draw. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. These old rivals have gone at it for a long time. First meeting way back in 1890. It is the most played rivalry at the highest level of college football. Yeah, you're right, Reese. And even though this game hasn't always had national championship implications or Heisman Trophy implications necessarily, this game defines what's so great about college football. It's the rivalries, right? You don't have to be necessarily a fan of either of these two schools, but appreciating the history, I think, is what makes this game so unique. Yeah, and the trophy games are so fun. Just to watch the teams react at the end. And they know, starting this game off, one of them is going to run across the field and get an enormous axe. How flipping cool is that? The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Pulls it and fires to the left. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. This act means so much to both Minnesota and Wisconsin. But, Jesse, my question is, have you ever used an axe? Uh, improperly, and I almost chopped off my ankle once upon a time. You know, in Canada, we have to use axes quite often for fireplaces, and it gets very cool. But not like this axe right here. None as valuable or as important to thousands and thousands and thousands of people the way the Paul Bunyan's axe is. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. Sort of getting in touch with their inner James White, Melvin Gordon, or Jonathan Taylor to pick up another first down. I mean, it's just crazy the list of guys they've had play here in, in Wisconsin tradition, and it continues, right? Everybody who's here, you're going to be featured. You're going to get touches. So, hey, recruits, you want to you carry the football a lot? Come to Wisconsin. 
Really nice first down run. And you're seeing why this running back is an every down type back. He can run between the tackles. He can run outside. He can catch the football. He can block. This guy can do it all. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They get him on the ground, and with that, we'll head to the second quarter. Both teams made no secret. They wanted to target their big play receivers, and they've done just that in the first. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. The Badgers have it with a first and ten. Wide out in motion. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. And listen, they didn't get the huge playoff of that, but I love the ability to show that and be able to show plays off of that, that jet motion and just show them you're willing to complete it. But, you know, get those little chunks at a time. It doesn't have to always be a home run. That's still a successful play. give to the running back relentless tough running gets it down to the four well I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D line they got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first and the Badgers trying to pay off the threat on first and goal they'll try to get it in with the run and he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Badger! Up and over, Yamo be there into the end zone. And, and you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, and get that touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. A 67-yard touchdown drive there. And they finished it off with the score from the four. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. And that's just a ball he has to catch. As a tight end, you know you're going to be working the middle of the field all game long. And when you have opportunities like that, man, you got to make them count. Boy, could they use a conversion on third and short from their own 24. Back to throw, it's Brosmer. Quick strike complete. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. It's really nice when you're an offensive coach and you can basically attack the whole field. When you got an arm like this and you can just, boom, put it on a line, it's really nice to have that. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that run. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And they tried to sneak the draw in there, and the defense was not fooled. 
You know, there's an art to selling the draw play, and that one was like kind of more paint by numbers. It didn't turn out so well. And the defense, you could tell, they weren't fooled. They were green with their painting by numbers and got in there quick, fast, and made the play. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. Working the middle, it's complete. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that, A, it's zone, but, B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. Got a man. It's Spencer. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. And that's a really nice route by the wide receiver. Just understanding, I got to win right now. I got to get inside of that guy. And I know I'm going to get contact. You run over the middle of the field on the slant, you're going to get hit. Nice job securing the catch, making the play. Going with the ground game left. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Might be decision time if the defense can get a stop on third down from the 45. Looking to throw, it's Brosmer. Using the quick game. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. Got it. In the middle, it's Glenn. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Well, the drag route's put in this playbook to fight against man-to-man -man coverage. So there you see the receiver using his speed, working his way across the field. He gets separation on the DB, trying to trail him, makes the catch, turns it upfield for the first. Play number 10 on this series. Looking to throw on second down. Just too much mustard on that one. Can't miss the target that badly. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. On third and short, the power run here. The Badgers see them move the chains again. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. We've got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. To the ground. He's got it again. And he won't quite get there. But, boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. From the shotgun, the inside give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that seemed a little off from the start, didn't it? That was a big-time play, and it was off from the start because of the play he made. And I don't think it would have mattered who was playing running back. There was absolutely nowhere to go. Third down, and this crowd is tearing the lid off this place. Looking to throw for it. Buying some time. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chains. Well, he does a really nice job buying time, and I love the awareness there, understanding no one's open downfield, knowing where the sticks are, and he's able to use his athleticism to get that first down. The Golden Gophers come to the line with a new set of downs. The give is to Taylor. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine.
It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Good, solid tackle. That's a really nice play on second down. I love the quarterback's read. I love that he kept it. Good offensive coordinators across college football. They have no problem repeating the same play over and over again if it's successful. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. And he needed one yard, and he didn't get it. The defense won the battle up front. If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some maulers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. They'll send out the kicker here. That is no good. And after the miss, it's still a 14-point game. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. I mean, offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Running to the left. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. It's a nice run there to get the first down. I got to tell you, I'm impressed with the stable of backs and the weapons this offense has. A lot of different guys can touch the football in a variety of ways, but they've been running it very, very well in this game so far. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line gets to assert themselves, run block what they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. They think there's room to run to the right here. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. He's got a head of steam. Boy, he is hard to bring down. And the Badgers are marching down the field. Going up top on first down. Makes his connection. You see it more and more. Smaller wide receivers. I don't care about their size anymore. I put them in the slot. I let them get a good matchup. They're so quick, people can't get their hands on them. They make plays, and I feed them the football. These are guys that have a lot of catches throughout a season. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. To the ground with the back. Stop is made at the 36. Let's call it a five-yard gain and a first down. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. Moving into scoring territory at the 36 on first down. They'll try the run. They're trying to send a message with this running game. He stopped after a pickup of four to the 33. Just a simple power play, power football. Be strong, be big, be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game. Make them feel you and keep them off balance. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Now the play fake. Catch in the middle, it's Williams. Makes the tackle at the 23-yard line. Give him 10 yards and enough for the first down. 
Wisconsin quarterbacks always know their role. Sometimes they got to make the big plays from a Daryl Bevel to a Russell Wilson. And knowing your role means knowing that you're going to hand the football off a lot and you're going to be a play-action team and pick and choose your spots. But it won't be an offense with Wisconsin that it's opening up. It's throwing the football 30, 40 times a game. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. Those outside runs, if they can get the edge like they do, great job by the right guard, right tackle, getting the edge. And now what does this do? This makes cornerbacks come up and tackle. Safeties come up and tackle. As opposed to linebackers and big defensive players, you get your guy out in space where he can use his speed and his physicality against guys that usually cover and don't come up and make tackles. A first down run in the red zone. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Wisconsin. And the running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. They marched 79 yards on the drive, and it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. The kickoff team out there getting set. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, Dave. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, chip into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. After the misfire, now on second down. Pulls it on the bootleg fake. And just too much on that pass. Too high, too wide, out of bounds, and incomplete. Well, at this juncture in the game, with how the scoreboard looks, no question this offense is going to have to throw to get back in the game. And it's going to be tricky now because the defense is expecting it. You're going to throw into a lot of big zone coverages with everybody's eyes on the quarterback. Not going to be easy. On third down, he drops the throw. Quarterback now breaking the field. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. Yeah, and the QB decided to take it himself. He got a little bit of pressure, you could see, and decided to take off, scramble, and couldn't get the first down. And now it's fourth down decision time. No matter where it is on the field or what the distance is, you know there's a chance. We still might go for it. And the Golden Gophers will try to pin them back with the punt. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. The give to the back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking for a man. It's locked. And they're not quite in rhythm there. It's incomplete. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you, so the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. The Badgers will send out the punt unit. 
This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for and made around the 20-yard line. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, but now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum, because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it downfield. They've got to score points. The Golden Gophers racing to the line in the hurry up. Looking to go up top on first down. And they got him for the sack. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. This offensive line has just been unable to keep them away from the quarterback. Now it's second and long. The quick out. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Yeah, when you get that man covers, most people are taught to have inside leverage. So that out route's there if your QB can put some air on it and throw it outside of the guy. But tight coverage, but a really nice throw in that out route. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. He hurls one deep down the left side. And he makes the catch inside the 25. And the tackle is made, but not before that completion gets him 30-plus. And how about the big strike down the field? I love when offenses take shots down the field, try to make big plays. Now they're set up in the red zone. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that one. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Looking for a man. It's Brosmer. Pressure's there, and he gets rid of it. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. They've already got a bunch of sacks on them today and another quarterback pressure. This offense has to try to find a way to get the ball out a little bit quicker, to protect their quarterback a little bit more. Whether it's screens, whether it's draws, whether it's rolling your quarterback, something has to change for this offense to protect their quarterback a little bit better. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. So here comes the field goal unit again, and we know how that's gone today. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. Pressure coming. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. This defense needed something to go right. Man, they're down big already in the first half. Get to the quarterback. Get him on the ground. This could start some momentum going back the other direction. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, from Minneapolis to Madison, there are some ornery folks and some emotional fan bases enjoying a soda pop and a little trash talk in this battle for Paul Bunyan's axe. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. 
his elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package, and his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Minnesota and Wisconsin plays out. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. They start this third quarter in a big hole, and they have to start climbing out right now. And they're going to have to be really aggressive, Reese. Like, this offense, when I'm playing from behind, every possession means so much more. And if you look the other side, the defense, they haven't given much resistance. Yeah, nothing has gone their way in the first half offensively. And you know now, based on how this defense is playing with their confidence, that you are going to be challenged on every single snap. So buckle up, get your mind right, and get ready to come back in this game. Quarterback now on the run, still looking. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. You see a lot of quarterbacks get in trouble when they start forcing things. He did a really good job. He wanted to throw the football. You could tell, drops back, nothing open. It's okay, I'm just going to take off, get what I can get. And here comes the offense on second down. They'll give it to the back. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure. It's a first down. And, you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the run game. you got to get those big boys up front into the game, understanding I want to knock people off the football, create some holes like you do here for my running back, make the game easy. And the Golden Gophers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They're going to ride this running back. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down. Man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. Trying to surprise him with the pass. Throws to the wideout. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. Extending the play. Ball is free. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And this QB has the ability to make huge plays and scramble around and do things off schedule. But that time, he coughed it up. Did a great job getting outside the pocket, but the defense closed in, forced the fumble, recovered it. Great job by the defense. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. Here's the handoff. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Back to throw, it's locked. Working the middle of the field and it's complete. The defense wouldn't let him loose and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. You know, that's one as a quarterback, when you see all those defenders around your intended target like that, just throw it in the ground or throw it away. I mean, that's a completion that loses yards. You're just hurting your offense there. A third and long coming up here. Looking downfield and he needs a bunch. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Scoops it up. Still a live ball. Woo. Deep breath, right? Man, you, you fumble that thing, you cough it up. You're like, oh, I really appreciate you, brother. I can't tell you how much I thank you because the coaches would have been all over me, but big-time break for the offense. And the Badgers decide to punt it away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out.
Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Taylor has it. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Off the bootleg, looking to fire. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. That is a great job getting to the quarterback. And when you're playing in Camp Randall Stadium, in one of the loudest atmospheres in all of college football, and your offensive line can't hear the snap count, and you've got dudes like T.J. Watt or J.J. Watt coming off the edge, it's not a lot of fun. It's not really fun for this quarterback right now either with this dude rushing. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. To the air, it's Brosmer. Dances away from the heat. Still running at the 40. They finally make the stop, but he shows why he is dangerous on the run, too, and he's got a first down. Man, that's so frustrating, and it happens so fast. He just pulls it down. It looks like pass. He pulls it down, and he's gone. Just like that, chewing up yards. So much speed, so hard to stop. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Leaves it with the back. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. They showed this run in the first half, right? You saw it. They loaded up on this side, ran the football, had some success. What do they do in the second half? Pull some guys, run the counter the other direction to keep the defense off balance. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Gives it to the back on the draw. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Well, on offense, you've got to love the way your offensive line is playing in this game. They're getting tremendous movement up front. They're climbing in the second level and really giving these backs and ball carriers a lot of room to run all game long. The Golden Gophers are moving quickly down the field. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And there's no mystery as to why this team's losing today. They've given up five sacks. They cannot keep their quarterback upright. And you just saw another example of it right there. He has never been able to get into rhythm throwing the football. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. Looking for the end zone. Had it in his hands for the score and let it fall to the turf. It'll be third down. A perfect timing. Got there right when the ball got there. Didn't get there a little bit early. Saving the touchdown. Nice timing by that defender. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Now they'll run the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. A lot of times those draw plays are successful when those defensive linemen run up the field, rush the quarterback, create some holes. Not this time. The defensive line did a really good job understanding that, seeing the draw play, getting the running back, getting his butt on the ground. And the Golden Gophers will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. Quickly complete. At the 40, there he goes. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. We always talk about the Wisconsin ground game, but the Badgers have had some efficient quarterbacks in recent years, too. And just finding the guy that fits, right? They're, they're a scheme fit, a system fit. Finding that guy that can be a, a complement to the run game, that's what you want with a great Wisconsin offense. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. 
They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the spot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. From the gun, running back on the move. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Quick handoff. Brought down at the 30-yard line. It's a gain of six. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? They'll try to get it through the air. Fires to the tight end. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Shotgun fundamentals are so key. He was like a shortstop. Caught the shotgun snap and right away rifled it out of his hands like he was turning two. That was beautiful. The Badgers will have it first and ten. Looking to throw, it's locked. Got his man quickly. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. Really nice job on that play. Quarterback and receiver being on the same page. Quarterback not telegraphing the throw, and the receiver does a nice job finding the soft spot in the defense, just settling down and giving his quarterback a nice target to throw to. He wants it all. Can't hang on in the end zone, and that one is going to drive him crazy when he watches it. It'll be third down. What a play by the defender there, guys, in his own end zone. The offense has taken a shot, and if that defender was just one step behind, that would have been a touchdown. But the hit forces the incompletion. They went up top on second and short. Surely they stick to the ground here on third and inches. He's got the tight end. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. How nice is it in this offense to have a tight end like that guy that can come up with plays for you all over the field? You just saw the big third down catch and set him up here in the red zone. I like going back to him, maybe lining him and flexing him outside, getting a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for him to use his size advantage. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, this defense obviously knows they have to be able to stop the run now in the second half if they're going to win this game. And you wonder if they were able to make some tweaks and some adjustments at halftime, maybe getting some more bodies close to the line of scrimmage to give themselves a chance to come back in this game. After getting knocked back, it's second and goal from the four. They'll go to the ground. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. A third and goal call here from the two. Let's see if they can finish the deal. He's got it. Touchdown, Badger! And the stomping has commenced. Now they have extended this lead, guys, starting to put the hammer, but sometimes a rivalry game can give you a little of extra fight back. And there can be no panic at this point now. You've worked too hard this offseason, David. They've had this game circled for so long. You've got to play your best football right now and fight back. And you just need something good to happen on this next possession. You've got to get the crowd back into this football game. Big rivalry. Get some emotion. Get some momentum on your side. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They marched 72 yards, and it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Bringing it out. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. Oh, he 
drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. Well, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting the ball out of his hands quickly on that RPO. He saw something he liked, just not on the same page with his receiver. Let's see what they've got on second down. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Caught behind the line. It's Taylor. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. Now facing a third and long. Dropping back, it's Brosmer. Got his man down the middle. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. Ooh, and that's a nice sigh of relief for the defense, too, right? There was a broken tackle, and the guy made it look like he was going to pick up the first. But because of great effort defensively, they were able to get the stop. And now they're setting up fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll bring it back. It's Anthony. Just a wall of defenders everywhere he looks, and he's guided out of bounds after a short return. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Pulls and throws off the RPO. Stopped at the 46-yard line, but give him 10 yards and the first down. And I love working the slot receivers. You see so much of that. It's about matchups, right? I can put a fast guy in that slot. Maybe get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. I like working those guys in those matchups. Favorable for the offense, for sure. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. The run from the shotgun. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. I think a big key in this team's success today has been their ability to run the football. They've been able to just hand it off and go churn out yards. They've had this defense on their heels all game long. It's given them a big cushion in this game so far. Let's see if they can keep it up. Off the play fake on first down to throw. A strike downfield. And this offense is just so dynamic because they've got playmakers at all the skill positions, right? We just saw a big play in the running game. Now we see one in the passing game. There's not one dude that you can key on here if you're on defense to try and slow them down. And the Badgers getting set on first and ten. Leaves it with the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. He'll try it again. Pick up of one. It's down at the 11. They'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Back to throw. It's locked. Let's it fly. Touchdown, Wisconsin. And the beatdown has ensued. And the Badgers look as if they're ready to start swinging that axe with authority as they're starting to thump the goal. Well, I think Wisconsin knew coming into this game they needed to be the more physically dominant team. And, David, it seemed like it's been that way so far. Yeah, and that's where it's a good to have to be able to lean on. Even in rivalry games with high emotions, when you know who you are and you're physical and you can be the more physical team, you can get the lead. Now, just got to hang on to it and finish the drill. Ready to try the point after.
The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They march 58 yards for the touchdown on that one. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. On second down, they'll take to the air. Finds his man. It's Spencer. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. So what do they have for third and short from their own 23? Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync, and that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. On fourth down, they'll pass for it. Got it past the marker. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now a fresh set of downs. Now on first down from the 30. He's going to pass. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they don't drag him down until he gets all the way to the 46-yard line. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. And he was looking over the middle and couldn't make the connection. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. you got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. He wants to throw it again. Looking to scramble. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. The Golden Gophers have it with a first and ten. Back to pass. It's Brosmer. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Floating away. Finding open areas. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want, to, they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. All the way down to the 15-yard line. It's first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. 
Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Out of the gun. The running back has it. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. And it's incomplete and the defense holds. The offense lining up for a first down play. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Hines a little bit of room, picks up four out to the 13. Solid pickup of four on first down, it's second and six. They go right back to him. Really good job making a play, getting it out to the 24 and moving those chains. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. To throw. It's locked. He's got it down the middle. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long coming up. Great play by the cornerback. He was just way too physical at the point of attack. He beat his man trying to block him, and he tackled that receiver on the screen. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. From the gun, wants to pass. With the catch, it's Pauling. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. Yeah, and I tell you what, when you stick these fast suckers in the slot, they don't have to be big, but you get those guys that are so quick in the slot, they can get great matchups, and I can get the ball to them quick because they're such dynamic playmakers. The Badgers will punt it away on fourth down. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. That last drive was promising at times, but stalled out, and they turned it over on downs, Jesse. I think they got to do a better job here, just being better early in the downs, on first down, finding positive plays. Yeah, and it's frustrating when you move the football and get stopped on the other side of the field and get no points, but they've had some success, and I like the aggressiveness. They just got to cash some of these drives in. After that last completion, it's second down. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Faced with a third and short from their own 32 to keep this drive alive. Caught near the sticks. It's Spencer. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. This dude is putting in work out of the slot, and he is just wearing out this defense. Man, you see it, Reese, in football. They just, these slot guys are so quick, so athletic. You back them up off the football so you can't get hands on them, and you just find ways to continue to get him the football. He's making plays, so I'm going to continue to throw it his way. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. 
You know, it's one thing to take shots early in a game when the defense may not be expecting it, but at this point, fourth quarter, you're trailing by a lot. They know you're going to do it, and the defense was expecting that one. Great job in the back end. Offense gets set for second down. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. Well, that's another completion. And this quarterback's on fire. I get it. He's thrown for over 200 yards in this game, but it's because he's got people helping him out. How about that incredible job diving out, stretching out, and hauling that pass in? Quarterbacks love it when they don't have to be perfect every time they throw the football. And this group of receivers, they are helping out their QB1. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Looking downfield, it's Brosmer. Fires left. He's got an open man. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. You know, long touchdown passes don't have to come in the shape of go routes and posts. You can throw a slant. If your guy is able to make one dude miss and build up some steam, when you've got speed like that, you can take it to the house, and that's exactly what he did. On to attempt the try. And the extra point cuts into the lead just a touch, 35 to 10. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And the final 41 yards covered by that touchdown strike. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. The give to the back. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. They've got it first and 10 from the 25. From the gun, the running back has it. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The give to the tailback. Running with power. And eventually taken down, but what about that spin move? Gives him the first down yardage. Man, this offense would really like to lean on this guy in the fourth quarter, right? They've got the lead, and you just saw his ability there breaking a tackle. He looks like he's getting stronger as the game goes on. I'd expect him to get a few more carries here before this game's over. The gift to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Give to the single back. 
That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Going to throw it to the right. He's got his man. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. That's quite a start to a drive, and now they'll snap it from midfield. They'll throw it on first down. Fires the pass. Intercepted. Not a lot on the return, but they can live with that as they've got it at the 49. This is a beautiful situation for the defense. When you're up by two-plus scores and you're in this situation, you know exactly what is coming. It's going to be a pass. They have to because the clock is their enemy. Great job playing pass, forcing the interception, almost putting the nail in the coffin. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Running back searching for a hole. They'll stop him at the 41, but he's got 10 yards, and they'll move the chains. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. From the gun, the ground game. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you get late in the game and you know they're running the football and you don't stop. Them. It's been that kind of day for this defense. They haven't played well. They're going to have to go to the well. They're going to have to figure some things out. Practice this week, I can promise you, will not be a lot of fun with these coaches. The give to the single back. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still you cannot stop? There's nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the passes. Headed to the end zone, and we have breaking news. They score yet another touchdown. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. 
A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And it was finished off by a terrific 26-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team has the ball teed up in there, about ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. This thing got out of hand on them, but they'll try to finish with some prop. They stripped it out. And the fumble is going to go out of bounds, and the offense will maintain possession. You know, fumbles really just comes down to luck. Oblong-shaped ball just can bounce any which way whatsoever. An offense right there, very lucky that one went out of bounds. Second down after the offense averted absolute disaster. Dropping back, it's Brosmer. Unloads to the wideout. And they won't be able to connect downfield looking for a big-time play. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you can tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game. Today. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Feeling some heat. And he can't escape, and down he goes. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just You could tell they were dialed into what was going on. And now just throw another sack in the equation. Hitting the quarterback, being disruptive. They've been all over the field. 